HDMI can cause professional integrators some problems when trying to make it work in a distributed system. The goal of this video is to simply introduce those of you not familiar with HDMI and how it actually works. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface and, put simply, is an interface meant for carrying uncompressed digital audio and video over a single cable, the most common of which uses a Type-A connector that consists of 19 pins. HDMI was developed by a group of companies looking for a way to protect digital content from being copied. There's a certain process that needs to take place in order for the audio and video to show as intended when we connect a source to a display, whether directly or through a receiver or matrix. The first step is what we call hot plug, and it's essentially the connection detection process between the source and the display, done through one of the pins on the connector with 5 volts, stating, hey, I'm here, and I'm powered up. Once the hot plug has been established, the next thing to happen is EDID, also referred to as EDID. It stands for Extended Display Identification Data, and it is the communication of the display to the source of all its video and audio settings. So the source then knows what it can send to achieve the maximum quality settings. After EDID settings have been verified, we have HDCP. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, and it's the virtual handshake and exchange of keys that takes place between a source and a display. Each source has a predetermined set of HDCP keys that it uses to authenticate displays, and it is this sequence that is intended to prevent the copying of digital data. Assuming everything has gone as it should, and you now have the proper audio and video feeds, the source will then monitor this connection every two seconds in what's called an HDCP heartbeat. The source will re-authenticate if there is a mismatch in the heartbeat or if there is a hot plug event. The display will use the metadata to get the picture and the sound correct. As you can see, there is a lot going on and a constant flow of information behind the scenes in that single HDMI connection. Hopefully this knowledge will give you a solid foundation to start with if and when you need to troubleshoot a system. For more information, visit avocationsystems.com.